doing marketing versus buying leads. Let's talk about some of the differences for a minute here. Now, I'm not here to bash buying leads. It can be a good part of your uh, customer acquisition strategy. But I also know that so many roofing companies out there are sick and tired of buying leads and they hate doing it, but it's the only thing that they know how to do. And the reason that it's a stressful thing is because you don't have control over getting your own customers. Now think about that for a second. If you're constantly just buying leads, whether it's from HomeAdvisor or the telemarketing companies and everything like that, again, I'm not bashing them. Those things can really help. But if that's all you do to get customers, then you don't have the ability to generate your own customers and that leads to a lack of predictability and a lack of comfort within a business. And there's a lot of stress, and there's a lot of chaos, and you're always you know, wondering whether you can pay your people and, and all that sort of thing. So what I wanna talk about, what this whole uh, you know, series of videos, this whole page is about, and all these resources are about, is about taking control of your marketing, taking control of the future of your business. So you can get not only more customers, but better customers, better jobs, and when you're doing marketing, a lot of times we're talking about marketing to attract top quality talent to your company. So you know a lot of roofing companies that I speak with, they're like, yeah, marketing can be tough, but you know what's really holding us back is we can't find good people. You know, we can't find good sales associates or we can't find good uh, installers for our products or good crews or whatever that might be. So that's really holding them back. So when you're doing marketing, you, you're marketing, you're building that, that brand that's gonna attract awesome people that wanna come work hard for you. So that can be a, a really important part of, of marketing. So a lot of times when I'm talking about marketing versus buying leads, I like to uh, use this analogy that we use about the real estate industry. Now we all know realtors and probably a lot of you work pretty closely with them. That can be, you know, those can be good relationships to have. Now realtors realized something a couple decades ago, a few decades ago, that most construction companies still haven't realized or implemented into their businesses. Now real estate agents realize that if they want to feed their families, if they want to make money, if they want to actually grow their business, they can't just wake up and go look for buyers and sellers on any given day. So looking for buyers and sellers, that would be akin to a roofing company looking for people that are ready to do a roof today, like ready to buy today. And that's why leads can become so sexy and so appealing because you're getting people who are, who are ready to buy today. But if you, we look at it, if we take a step back and we look at that, Roofing is a high ticket item, so most people are not ready to buy it today, right? So back to that realtor example, they realize that they can't just go out and look for people that are ready to buy or to sell a house on this particular Wednesday, right? They have to farm their local area throughout 12 months a year. They work their butts off doing events, doing marketing, doing advertising, going to all these networking events and handing out business cards like ninjas and all that, but that works because they want to become known in their market as a helpful resource, as a valuable resource for their community so that when someone is ready to buy or sell a home, they're going to go to that realtor, they're going to go to that person. And that's how a real estate agent builds their business. That's how they feed their families. That's how they grow. So if you want to become known in your market, if you want to uh, build your brand and do marketing, you need to be farming your local market 12 months a year. And that's branding, that's content. Um, staying in front of your, your past customers, potential customers, uh, any list that you might have, nurturing people over time, and all those things go into marketing. So if you're here watching this video and all these videos and you're, you're invested into putting great products on your customers' roofs, chances are you're invested into providing great customer service to your customers as well. And you're probably also looking to build a great team and you value having a culture and really building something that's more than just a transactional company. You wanna build a relationship-based business. And marketing is the way to do that. Again, marketing for better customers, but also marketing for better employees too. You wanna to create that brand that people can trust, that people know, like, and trust. People buy from companies that they know, and the way that people will get to know you these days is by them seeing you on this device and throughout your town and maybe on radio and billboards and everything like that. So that's the, uh, the difference between doing marketing and buying leads, and I hope that's helpful for you as you're planning out your marketing for the next year, or the next 12 months, or next season, whatever that may be. Think about those two different avenues of getting customers and what you want for your business, what you want for, uh, what you envision for the future of your business.